Hey guys, it's your girl R.S. Lewis, a.k.a. Insomniac Writer, and this is another fucktivity in the news and social media. Today's trending topic is a gorilla goo girl, and if you are unfamiliar with what that hashtag means, it refers to a young lady by the name of Tessica Brown, Tessica with a T, who inadvertently put gorilla glue adhesive in her hair to slick down a ponytail hairstyle. Now, if you, for whatever reason, have been living under the rock or you were focused on, say, um, the Super Bowl or something else, here's a clip of that original video that went viral this weekend. Hey, y'all. For those of y'all that know me know my hair has been like this for about a month now. It's not by choice. No. It's not by choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with the little got to be glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glue spray, so I used this. Gorilla glue spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Y'all, look. My hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. I've washed my hair 15 times. And it don't move. Stiff wear. Woo! My hair. So I'm going to tell y'all like this. If you ever, ever run out of got to be glue spray, don't ever, ever use this. Unless you want your hair to be like that. For <sighs> yeah. That's definitely something else. Now, as far as I know, um, she tried everything to get this stuff out of hair. She indicated on the video that she watched it 15 times to no avail did she get this stuff out of her hair i'm uh, now i'm under the assumption she didn't either know that the product was as strong as it was or she did not fully read the instructions and warnings that were on this can i and i'm 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 not understanding if she just had it in here and never ever used it for anything in her house but she had it so she used it and now, she usually uses, she said that she usually uses Got To Be Glue, which is an actual hair product. Now, maybe she thought that the Gorilla Glue was Gorilla Snot, which I believe is an actual hair care product. But either way, she messed up. She messed up pretty bad. Now, um, at first, I thought it was kind of dumb. I, it was kind of like funny, but it was just dumb. Like, I didn't feel bad or wanted to laugh. I was like, this has got to be the most dumbest thing I've ever seen. However, when I saw that this poor woman was in pain, she was really, really scared, um, that's when I started to be concerned for her safety, and I was genuinely, genuinely worried. Because as we see from this next video, um, from her trying to get the stuff out of her hair, she looks like she's in an immense amount of pain. So I'm hoping that worst case scenario, an infection doesn't set in, um, chemical burns or anything like that. As far as I know, acetone isn't that toxic to the skin, but it's not something you, I, I, I've never put it on my scalp. I put it on like nail polish and stuff like that, but I've never put it on my scalp, which tends to be a more sensitive area. Again, this is common sense. You got to be able to read these lab you got, labels. You got to look at what you're putting on your body and in your body. And that's something that people don't worry. We worried about how things are going to look on the outside. And, and again, I'm not perfect. I've made mistakes. I've I was cooking one day. I picked up my daughter from school, came home late from work, trying to hurry up, get dinner done, ready. I'm making spaghetti, and me, not paying attention, grabbed the cinnamon. <laughs> I don't know what else I would think I was supposed to be grabbing. It might have been the paprika or something that was in a similar container, but I wasn't paying attention, and I sprinkled it, and sprinkled it in. Now, before I started, I noticed instantly, oh, 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 try to skip it, take it out, <laughs> and, and try to doctor up this horrible taste of spaghetti and like i said no matter what i did that cinnamon taste and just did not go anywhere and i understand look i wear weaves i do different types of styles in my hair and i understand the pressures that us as black women have uh, to to look a certain way and we've been made to think that our natural coiled hair is not pretty or appeasing or we can't do anything with it or the straight is better and yada 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 Guess what? Let's not get it twisted. I love my natural hair. When I want to wear these crazy colors, I do not put them in my hair because I know the damage that they can do. So I buy it and put it in. 
a couple weeks later, I take it out. Now, if I don't have the correct amount of thread or whatever I normally use, I rarely will call it audible and put something that's not safe in my hair. I don't play those games because guess what? That's my crown, y'all. But again, like I said, the need to have things pressed down, flat, straightened, all that stuff from relaxers that chemically alter the, 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 the makeup of our hair to hot combs and flat irons, constant heat damage. I've noticed that those things we do to our hair, we damage our hair to make it look like something it is not and that's straight. And I understand. What I know now, like I said, Tessica is hasn't posted an update as far as getting the glue out of her hair. She may have to cut the whole thing off and just call it an L. But that being said, she has started a GoFundMe, which the link is in my description down below. So be sure to click that if you want to donate and help her out. Let me know what you think. Do you think she was dumb? stupid do you feel bad for her do you don't let me know now if you're new here make sure you like comment subscribe hit that bell to be notified for future videos and stuff i also post my single chronicle videos as well as a few zumba dancing videos and so much more now another thing i want to mention Fuctivity tees available in different colors not just black and white so grab yours and it has the definition so you can tell people about what the fucktivity is. Anyway, again, I am your girl R.S. Lewis, a.k.a. An Insomniac Writer. And this has been another fucktivity in the news and social media. All right, take care, guys.